way, as I was saying, some people think power is only being able to be in charge. But when you give up your power to your to God and trust and really see results because you've given up everything to Jesus, then you know true power. Jesus is power. You know because you see it at work. You may not know when it's happening, but when you look back, you see. You see it's there. You see, you know. And Jesus does let things happen sometimes. He has a plan, you know. He has a plan. So he, he has a plan for everyone. And he has a master plan for the world and humanity. But allowing Jesus to take over and just trusting and trusting and trusting. And I have to admit, you know, I, uh, today I've worried a little bit about my future, but not too much because then I thought, oh yeah, that's right. I trust Jesus. Jesus is handling it all. Jesus is taking over. And when I saw that fog, you know, that is a little scary, but I just walked right into the house and didn't even look back or think about it all night. But um, <clears throat> what can I say? What can I say? There are very few things that scare me now. Very few things. Because I trust Jesus completely. And I always say, whatever be your will, Jesus, I will accept. You know? That's not to say that I can't pray for a positive outcome. You know, I do. I usually pray for a positive outcome. But then I say, Whatever be your will, Jesus, I will accept. And lately it's been a lot better. I mean, really, I just, I'm, I'm in awe. I'm in awe. And, you know, so many things could have happened to me and they didn't, so... I don't know. But anyways, getting back to the power, the power. And some people think that sex is power. It's, it may be power over one person, but it's not power. You don't derive sex. You don't derive power from sex. You may get, uh, you may get advancements in your life, but that's not power. It's demeaning. It's demeaning and degrading. If you feel you need to advance your life by sleeping to the next level or sleeping to the next level, then you are not very powerful. You're very weak. You need to think about what you're doing. You need to think about what you're doing and how to advance to the next level without selling yourself out, you know, and degrading yourself. And that's what come, what, and that's real power. Real power is when you can advance and have a good, clean life. That's real power. But if you have to cheat and steal and be corrupt, then you have illegitimate power because it's not true power. You have to do so many things to maintain control or, yeah, control or be the leader. You have to do so many things that are corrupt. 
<clears throat> but if you can be a leader and you say, I have the best interest of everyone in mind and you work for the betterment of people, then that is true power. That is true power. And the best way to be that way is to trust Jesus because Jesus is all about humanity. Jesus is all about the animals and the earth and the universe. And these are all things that I pray for every night. So, you know. And I think I pray for it because of my trust in Jesus. You know, he led me to these prayers. But real power is not sleeping your way to the top. It's not um, stealing your way to the top. It's not lying and cheating and, you know, using people to get to the top. That's not real power. Real power is standing on your own two feet with supporters who believe in what you are saying and what you are doing and how you and your plan for going about doing it. I still, I'm not saying I'm a leader. All I'm saying is that the schools, I would like to lead the schools. If, well, Jesus would lead the schools, I would just be the voice behind the schools. And, uh, but I don't know how to do it. I really, I don't. So I don't make plans also because they would just get ruined. So I trust Jesus and I have to trust Jesus that that will happen because humanity needs a break. Humanity needs a break. Are we really meant to work 40 hours a week? enslave at our jobs only to come home and not have time to spend with our kids and well you may have time to spend with your kids but then you don't have any other time to do anything because you're exhausted you're stressed you bring home work a lot of people bring home work a lot of people put in overtime just to make ends meet or just to get ahead, whatever. But are we really meant to do that? Are we, I mean, is this really what life should be? You don't know. We don't know. Because really, when you have schools that really allow people to learn the truth, to that are all set up for them, for everyone to be successful and go out into the world and do their own thing and not follow like sheep, then you have solutions to so many things. I don't have solutions to everything. I don't. All I have is a, an idea and a plan for a school, a plan but I don't have a plan for implementing it or making it come to fruition at all. I don't, but I have faith that it will. I have faith. And the future leaders of the, of the, the leaders of tomorrow, after they go through these schools, hopefully, God willing, and because uh, they will feel as if they were truly cared for, will be good leaders. Will be people who stand on their own two feet. People who don't compromise and don't do um, <clears throat> damaging things to others or themselves to get ahead. And that will change the world. The world will be completely different. 
God willing, if the if the schools work out the way they're supposed to, and they will, this, according to my men, they will. All right. So uh, now I got off power. Power. <laughs> anyway, true power is standing on your own two feet. And getting gains through Jesus or on your own. You know, the world isn't ready right now to completely accept Jesus. So that's fine. That's fine. But if you have morals and you have, uh, and I know I'm a sinner. So I'm saying it because we all are, we all are sinners. But if you can stand on your own two feet and you can do the right thing and you can gather supporters and work with them eventually and have a plan, get plans in places, stuff like that, then that's really powerful. That's the true power. If you can trust in a being way above you, above everything, above, above Everything. If you could just trust in that person, then that really is the true power. Because Jesus will take over, and he is the ultimate power. All right, and on that note, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow. Uh, has a great day today and a great evening tonight. And things go your way. All right, bye.